Hey guys, Dre Avent here with Seahawks safety Jerron Johnson, and I'm really excited to be here with him today. He had a great season, came back to the Seahawks, was really looking forward to that reunion. He's doing a lot of big things in the community. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, but Jerron. What's up? Thanks for having me at your barber shop. I appreciate it. It's a nice it, little vibe here, you know? Thanks, my guy, uh, Kev, for letting us use his shop, Lions Den. There you go, Lions Long Den, Long Beach, California, represent. Well, once again, really appreciate you making time for me. And mm -hmm. I just feel like last year must have been such a special year for you, reuniting with the Seahawks. Tell yeah. me about how that was for you. Uh, it was a humbling experience more than anything, having to sit around and wait, you know. <laughs> pretty much to the end of the season, but that's where I wanted to be and you know, I felt good being there. It was I was home again. Yeah, and the thing I like about you is you're always working, always ready for that opportunity. I know you were working out, keeping tabs on the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. What's the key to that kind of mentality, just always staying competitively ready? I'm just not ready to be done playing football. I mean that's the that's the most important <laughs> thing. Uh we're just not ready to be done. I, I, you know, I still got a lot of football left in me, I feel. Mm -hmm. So I'm, just, I'm not ready to be done, you know, so I, I just got to keep myself going so I can try to keep getting jobs. No doubt, and you got that <laughs> call, and I know firsthand Richard Sherman's such a loyal friend, and he spoke very highly of you as far as, like, being excited that you were back. The comfort level that you feel when you're playing with him, you've been playing with him since high school, mm -hmm. how was that familiarity, just having that back, how comforting was that? It was good to be back in a bit. I mean, yeah. with him especially, you yeah. know, we go back since we were 14 years old, no so... Doubt. Um, but, you know, just everybody in the building, because a lot of those guys, we all kind of came in the league the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we, you know, we, we all become family over the years. You know, it's been, we came in in 2011. We had uh, Earl and Cam came in right before us. So we just, mm -hmm. we were all young in the game together and kind of grew up together. No doubt, and everybody's back together. I'm sure was really excited yeah. when you walked into the locker room again. Everybody's like, what's up? That's their boy. You know, you're back. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody uh, uh, welcomed me with open arms from the staff mm -hmm. to, you know, even the cooks upstairs and everybody. They welcomed me back with open arms. Very cool. Well, I know a lot of fans know that your work ethic is just on 20. You're a smart player. What are you working on this off season as far as just getting even better heading into 2017-18 season? Just, um taking care of my body and just, you know, just trying to get back into shape. I lost a little weight, okay. uh, putting my weight back on now and just trying to, you know, continue to get faster and can, will keep my speed and get faster mm -hmm. and just <laughs> sharpen all tools, really. Sharpen all tools, that's what it's all about. Well, you guys make sure that you keep a lookout for part two. You know me, I love personality. The three minute play with DA is where I take you behind personality of your favorite players. That's what we do, we peel back the layers. That's why I love doing these interviews. So make sure you guys keep a lookout for part two. We're gonna talk a little bit about his charity work. He's got a seven on seven event that's coming up in Los Alamitos. We definitely wanna delve into that. So make sure you guys keep a lookout. JJ, DA.